I, I live in like a constant state of like clutteredness right here this is what's going on. Um, but anyway, that is my haul from today. We're going to go over the haul right now. I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm actually going to put up um, like a like two lights up here uh, that plug in just to the to the ceiling. So hopefully we'll get some light, some better lighting going on for the future. But anyway, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this. So while I'm doing this, I have some shoes on the table that need to be cleaned. I haven't showed you because I didn't do a haul video that day, but I'm going to put them in this bin right here. I'll just show you really quickly what they are and what I think I can get for them conservatively. So we'll, we'll just start it off like that. I didn't really get any, many shoes today, like three, two or three pairs. So I think three, but anyway, let's just do it. Let's go. All right. First, just some, uh, children's, I think these are size like for youth. Timberland boots uh, really good condition on these just one little scuff mark on the toe box right there if it'll focus there you go Some high top vans these are like rose gold metallic a little dirty on the bottom but you guys already know I clean these up really nice sick pair of Adidas superstars these are uh, I think a women's eight or nine uh, or a men's eight or nine I don't know I have to look it up but uh 30 bucks on these these vans 30 probably high top vans do a lot better than the low tops these right here 25 to 30 uh, all day on the on those these are I have, I have to do a little oxy bath on these but they're like high top adidas superstars i guess or like a version i you know i really don't know what the model is but i know that they're worth like 45 bucks so i grabbed them i'll oxy bath them this is an exception to the white shoe rule that i have Nice pair of Fabletics shoes. Fabletics is a pretty good brand to resell. Never found shoes before, so this is pretty cool. This colorway sells for like 30, somewhere between 30 and 40. Some little girls, size 7C, uh, high top vans right here. 20 to 25 all day on these, but at a $450 buy cost, pretty good profit. These are the like kids Crayola color blocked vans. These like do really well in children's and adults. I don't know what they're going for. The market fluctuates a little bit, but at least 25 bucks on these, maybe more. <laughs> Some Converse high tops, usually 30 bucks to 40 bucks, depending on the colorway. These are like a, uh, like a gray all-star, so. If you see the Converse in pretty good condition and the high tops, pretty good to pick up. Usually, like I said, 30 to 40, uh, probably closer to 30 on these. Um, but even if it's scratched and scuffed on the toe box, that cleans up so easily, guys. So don't be afraid to pick these up. Just a basic pair of uh, Tevas sandals. Um, pretty good condition on these. I think when I looked up comps, these were like 30 bucks, maybe a little more. But I'm thinking about 30, 25 to 30 on the Tevas. Uh, closer to 30 is if I remember correct. But some people call them Teva. I call them Teva. So I don't know. These are some more. These are kids sized Converse All Stars. They're like a little video game player one um, style shoe, high top. So maybe like 30 bucks on those. Sperry's is a brand that I sell a lot. These are just some regular Sperry Topsider like boat shoes. Um, if you look in the shoe under the tongue, this will focus for me. It's not going to focus if I go slow. Anyway, that's the tag and there's a number right there at the top. Not the top, but it's a lanyard. But like right here, it says like CB, CB49 something, something, something. That's the model number. Um, 20 bucks to 25 bucks on these all day. Don't sleep on kid shoes and especially don't sleep on Sperry brands. Sperry, Topsider, brand, any like the Chucka Boots, these boat shoes, the women's shoes, they sell so well for me. Next up, these are a pair of Ariat. If you don't know Ariat, it's a great Western wear. Uh, these are like women's like slide, like boot slides. I, I have no idea. Um, the little bit of heel drag on the one, not really bad though. It doesn't it looks worse than it is on camera but these are probably like 35 to 40 bucks right here and then just a pair of like these are almost like mid top vans like not quite high but they're not low they are velcro don't say velcro on ebay it'll get you vero so just say adjustable strap but these are in pretty good condition 
450 into I would say at least 25 to 30 bucks. These are just some basic Nike uh, DRS in really good condition. I think I can get about 25 for these. So 650 into 25, not great, but it pays the bills. These are a pair of Berkeys by Birkenstock. There is the the logo if it'll if it'll focus. I don't know why my camera's not focusing today. But this is a cool little like brick wall print, newspaper print, magazine print. I have no idea what, what it is, but I do know that Berkey so well. At least 30 bucks, probably more on these once I look them up. Just some Polo Ralph Lauren, like almost like a boat shoe. These shoes are probably like three pounds on their own. Um, I'm pretty sure they're vintage as well. The model number does pull them up. I think 35 bucks conservatively on these uh, does well. I don't really pick up that much polo shoes, but these are just uh, in too good a condition and, and nice to pick up. So uh, I grabbed them. And then the find of the day, some New Balance 990. These are the V4 made in USA right here on the tongue. Uh, these are a great one. The price has been fluctuating on these. I've seen them as low as 40 bucks to you know, over a hundred. So I think I'm going to list mine, maybe like 85 or so and see, you know, if I can sell them for at least 70. So great find here, size 10, uh, my size. So I'm not going to keep them, but uh, really good, really good condition on these. Let's get into the clothes. So real quick, what are some shows you guys are into right now? Personally, I have been watching three shows, actually four, because I just started Cobra Kai, because the new season of Cobra Kai uh, came out. Cobra Kai is a little cheesy, but I love Johnny Lawrence, so I think he's the original Karate Kid. We can fight about it if you want, but you're gonna be wrong. But the three other shows that I'm really into right now, I, I'm, I'm been, I've been watching She-Hulk. I think it's okay, the CGI is kind of bad. I, I mean, I feel like the more money they make, the worse the CGI gets, but... Uh, the show's kind of okay, I guess. I'm a really big Marvel fan, so I like to watch all the Marvel shows and movies that come out. Um, and She-Hulk is kind of like, I, I don't know, I'd probably give it like a 6 or 7 out of 10 right now. Uh, we'll see how it is by the end of the show. Now, two shows that I really like. I've been watching House of Dragon. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Uh, I read the books before the, the show even came out. So it's really, really cool to, that they are trying to create like a whole... Game of Thrones like universe I guess like they said they want it to be like Harry Potter and and uh, Star Wars and Marvel so it'll be cool if we get more really enjoying that show and then I'm really enjoying like the the new Lord of the Rings show I think it's called like Rings of Power or whatever really slow start but if you've seen the Hobbits the three Hobbit movies or the three Lord of the Rings movies that's how the first movie and like part of the second movie is it, it's kind of slow and then it builds up and it, it, it's really good so in my opinion that's a pretty good show but anyway quick little <laughs> random thought in there but anyway let's get into these clothes looking at these right here we're gonna start over on this side these are a pair of Harley Davidson jeans. Harley Davidson doesn't pull like it used to for the jeans, but I still sell, you know, whenever I get them, they might sit for a little longer, but I always sell them pretty fast uh, within three months for sure. But I don't pass up on Harleys, especially for $5.95. And I know for a fact I can get at least $25 for these. Um, these this is that LRG brand that I'm always telling you guys about right here, Lifted Research Group. Uh, really good brand to be on the lookout for us. A lot of it does better than others, but this is like a skeleton printed jean. Um, I'm thinking I can get at least 35 for these, if not more, maybe more. Uh, and then just a bread and butter piece. These are Under Armour golf uh, pants right here. Um, I sell these whenever, whenever I find them, I sell them for uh, 20 bucks, 18 to 20 bucks all day. Um, just some bread and butter, Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a classic fit. Button down, uh, I think it's, what is it, an XL or a large XL. Another XL, this is a long sleeve polo shirt right here. Uh, made in Vietnam, so a little older. Um, I usually sell these for at least 20. Two Pacific Legend Apparel Hawaiian shirts. These are both 3XL. Whenever you see a Hawaiian shirt, look the brand up because they actually pull and do well. Uh, so just that's a little tidbit. I always, I sell a lot of Hawaiian shirts, guys. This is a, it's a V-neck Nike Golf uh, Wind. And I see the little Nike Golf logo right there. It's a double XL, so a good size. This is like a wind shirt, a windbreaker V-neck. Uh, I sell these all the time for at least 20 bucks. I'll probably list this one probably at like 28.95 and see if I can get an offer quickly on it. Uh, Duluth Trading Co. This is an XL. 
uh, flannel. It's a, actually like a heavy duty flannel. So 25 to 30 bucks on this. Um, this is a good time to, to find stuff like this because we're getting into the colder months. Now this starter heavyweight, uh, Pro 80 heavyweight, it's an XL. Now this is not something I would recommend you guys going out and picking up. I sit on these for a little while, but I like having them. I, I'm a big starter fan. This is, you know, a vintage starter. Um, I like picking these up personally. It's probably going to sit for a little while, but I, I sell a lot of starter items. I have a lot of returning customers that come just to look and see what I've got, like when I get new starters. So I should be able to sell this for at least 15 to 20 bucks. I paid 575 for it. So not great profit, but I could not leave it behind. This is a vintage Notre Dame fighting Irish uh, crew neck right here. It is on a vintage Midwest embroidery tag. A really, really dope tag right here. Um, don't know. I have to do a little bit more research on this, but I mean, this could be like a $50 crew neck. I, I find them all the time. Um, just a bread and butter. This is like a half zip Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a newer one. Polo Ralph Lauren Performance in the XL. Should be able to get about 20 to 25 for that. This one was really, really cool. This is a Russell Athletic team issued South Carolina Gamecocks like v-neck it's an XL um, but it's in really good condition and I love finding sports apparel like this because it flies off the shelf for me and now this is a Tasani Canada XL like cable knit sweater now this brand doesn't do like super great but this colorway in it is like the best colorway you can find in this brand, in my opinion. So I should be able to get close to 35. All right, rounding out the haul, this is just a bread and butter piece. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren Classic Fit XL button down, really good condition, green colorway on that. All right, this is a territory ahead. Hopefully this will focus now because I was having an issue with it a second ago. Anyway, that is the tag right there. It's a vintage brand. This is an XL, it'll do really well for me. Uh, when I find this brand, I usually pick it up. Uh, should probably get about 30 bucks for that. Another Polo Ralph Lauren, this is the Blake. The Blake is my favorite version of this to sell. Uh, this is a large pink colorway. Nice, uh, nice bread and butter piece right there. This is a cool orange and blue, just basic Patagonia quarter zip, uh, like running shirt, athletic shirt. All right, getting into the tees. Jameson whiskey shirt, size medium. Just a bread and butter Nike, like men's dry fit tank top. Margaritaville, so the Margaritaville stuff does pretty well for me. I could probably get like 12 to 15 for this one. Um, but anyway, yeah. Good, good t-shirt to look out for. I got a couple Harley shirts. This right here says Rebel Sons. Uh, it's like a Kid Rock collab, I guess. That's the little, the little logo on the side. So I gotta look this up. Don't know what it's worth, but it's a size large. There is no back hit on it. Uh, this is a Greenville, South Carolina Harley Davidson uh, police chick shirt. Um, 3XL on this one, and then there's the back Greenville. A victory property of South Carolina Gamecocks T another victory uh, Tennessee Volunteers t-shirt Polo Ralph Lauren um, so this is like a new tags uh, polo shirt got for dollar fifty a bit newer size medium I don't know maybe like fifteen bucks on that uh, and this is this is more of a vintage uh, polo Ralph Lauren made in the Philippines so I grabbed it it's a small medium as well and then a pretty cool kevin harvick double-sided jimmy john's uh t it is a 3xl and there is the back all right guys that's going to do it for today i appreciate you chilling with me and looking at the hauls drop a comment and let me know what's a recent find you got that was really good a really good score so let me know in the comments appreciate you guys clicking on the video if you made it this far thank you so much don't forget to like and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe because it is absolutely free and that helps me out so 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 much stay thrifty guys always receive belts i'll see you in the next one peace